So I've covered a lot of different content with respect to VCAs on this YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about VCAs, you can head either to my YouTube channel or my website. Just type in VCA in the search and you're gonna get all the different content that I've done. Now, one of the cool things about VCAs is how they allow you to pretty much offset any levels for any tracks that you have, even if those tracks have automation. Because as we know, the minute you automate a track, you can't change its level unless you use a VCA. So I have all my drum tracks over here and basically right click and you wanna add VCA for selected channels. We end up getting this VCA channel over here. The feature I wanna talk about is merge VCA automation. What does this mean? Well, essentially, if I was to, even if I draw this, so let's go over to the draw tool for a moment and let me just draw some automation. So something like that. Now this is a little bit silly and I'll probably need to take this down a little bit. So let's say that I wanted to automate the VCA and I didn't wanna to have to automate all these tracks. And also these tracks are also already automated. If I automate the VCA fader, Notice that as we kind of zoom in, let me go back to my pointer tool. As we zoom into these tracks over here, notice we see the static level, but then we also see the VCA offset of what's going to happen with these tracks. And if I was to play them and we look at the console, everything's moving up and down. And that's basically following the VCA. Now, that VCA automation, let's say that I'm happy with that and I actually want to commit to that. I want to commit that to the actual source tracks. In those cases, we have a really quick and easy way that we can just double click to open the console, right click, and in this case, I can merge the VCA automation. Now notice when I merge the VCA automation, all of that automation that I had set on the VCA fader becomes kind of like um, it gets inherited by the source tracks that the VCA was connected to. The other cool thing is now that we have that automation and it's been and it's been merged into the source tracks themselves, now I can go back to using my VCA for something like a static offset if I wanted to bring everything down or everything up. So that's merge VCA automation in Studio One. Hope you got something from this and we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.